always remember, there's two types of people that live on this fucking earth. Oh my god, that was the most of that one, Jesus. Jesus, I'm not a fucking doormat. Are you trying to challenge me, bro? So, man, I'm starting to feel like Rich Piano, fucking just going one day after another. It's actually pretty crazy, eh? But, um, people said that, like, uh, like, Logan Paul got mental illness. He did this for two years. Yeah, that's crazy. See, you know, the problem is, is that, like, those guys are, like, forcing themselves to do, like, crazy adventurous shit every single fucking day for yeah. content. For us, whatever you're getting is, like, legitimately, like, what we would be doing with or without the camera, right? So, that's that's the difference between our channel and everyone else's channel. A lot of people, they, they do videos and they vlog and they fucking do all this shit, but they're actually forcing themselves to do shit that they wouldn't be doing otherwise just to make good content. Us, we're just, we're just, like... Whether the camera's on or not, we're doing this shit. <laughs> you know, it's, that's why it's just like so raw and uncut. But so I feel like the the channel's already getting some momentum. Let me keep posting. Yeah, we're gonna keep posting just, every day. Just bro. dedication. I don't give a fuck. So here we go. Breakfast. Can you guys guess what it is? Good guess. Good guess. Peanut butter, two scoops of protein powder. Guys, this, this could be a cool video. I don't know if I'm gonna pull through or not. If this guy shows up in the gym or not, but. I'm confronting a gym creep. Are you actually doing it? Huh? Oh, dude, I'm one hundred percent. Are you trying to challenge me, bro? Oh, He's the cream pie cleanup guy of the gym, essentially. Now he's trying to play with me, so now, now I feel like I gotta ask him if he's trying to challenge me. You know, it's, it's only right. You know, you gotta defend your honor. You know, so there could be an impossible gym confrontation today. You know, I'm not a punching bag. If I see bullshit, I call it out. You're gonna come at me, bro. You're gonna slap me. I'm gonna punch you. You stab me, I shoot you. If I see you trying to fucking undercut me. You're trying to snake me, or you're, you're trying to fucking challenge me or some shit. <laughs> or you're trying to take what's fucking mine, bro. I'm not gonna just pretend like this shit ain't fucking happening and just roll over and let you fuck me in the ass, right? I'll get out of the way today, hopefully. Hopefully he's fucking there. It's so funny, bro. Well, guys, I confronted the, the, cream, the cream pie cleanup guy. He didn't get on film though. It was just a quick little exchange. Oh. Actually hits more quad more teardrop, so my fucking legs are cramping like a fucking bitch though. Oh, I'm gonna go keep those too. Hail Mary. Oh my Lord, Rachel, let's just be, let's that one, Jesus. I don't forget the rest Mary, of that. Mother God, pray for sinners now at the hour of our death, 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 death. death. Holy shit. Damn it. That's a PR. The Holy Spirit. That's a good challenge to do. What? Massive After injection? After you set, <laughs> hit a prayer. Our Father. <laughs> our Father. <laughs> our Father. Lord in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. <laughs> <laughs> you can to yell it because you have to force out your lungs. Like, yeah. Hallowed. <laughs> you do it in the middle of your set. Hallowed be thy name. Deliver us from evil. Holy shit, bro. Oh, 
father who walked in and has a hollow beard on it. You need huh? five blades. The head rush is like a little delayed actually. Dude. Oh yeah. Fucking set. Oh. Wow, it's really hard. So much harder to put your feet lower. A lot harder. A lot harder. Holy shit. It's like one of the harder like exercises. Every time I don't do this one often, but when I do do this exercise, my legs are like fucked for a long time after. If I actually go hard on it. So basically, there's squats, but on a Smith machine. But the difference between doing it on a Smith machine, like three bars, that Smith machine like locks you into place. So it actually like targets like a certain area wherever you put your feet is where it's gonna target the muscle, so it just locks it in there. It's not like a regular squat, so. Good, try to go lower. There, there we go. Good. Lower. Let's go. Fucking pitch. Let's go. Six more. Uh. Oh. Five. Let's go. Four. Let's go. Two. Go all the way down. Good. Don't put it all the way out. Put it down the lower one. So hard, me, so hard for me to get low there. That was my first time on a squat rack. So a squat rack, there's a Smith machine. This doesn't <laughs> count, bro. That's like fucking with a condom on. You're fucking with a condom on right now. You gotta fuck raw in the, in the, squat, in the raw squat rack. Actually, it's funny, you haven't even paid your dues in the squat rack yet. You expect to build legs? That's where I built most of my mass and strength for my whole body is through squats. If you can squat 500 pounds, the rest of your body is going to be pretty decently strong as well. You're, you're going to have a strong back, you're going to have a strong legs, you're going to have a strong core, you're going to have pretty much strong everything. Like, you can't squat 500 pounds and have a weak back. You can't, have, you can't squat 500 pounds and have weak legs. So maybe we could get to the free squatting again. Same thing with me, I've been fucking, so I don't even know if I can do free plates now. I used to do like fucking almost 600, I think I do like 600 pounds. I'm fucking worry back. Honestly, I know there's like a lot of like hack squats and shit like that you could do. But I'm telling you, the Smith machine fucking squat drills me here. If I put my feet directly under the bar and I just literally put my mind to fucking destroying this shit, oh my god. I might not be doing this quietly. Just keep it smooth, baby. Keep it smooth. Keep it smooth, baby. Shit. Ugh. Uh, come on! My traps more on my legs. <laughs> my, my lower back. It hurts? Fucking it like, hurts like a bitch. <laughs> Sound like fucking leg. You gotta you gotta wear a belt and shit. I haven't been wearing one, but because all my back days, every time I squeeze, all my focus is on my lower back. Lately. You gotta get you gotta get a belt. You need a gym bag. 
up here. You're missing some key essential items here. Like, you can't be expecting to put on 20, 30, 40, 50 pounds of rock hard muscle and come to the gym with AirPods and shit in your pocket. You need a fucking gym bag. Brandon's right, ditching me. I'm gonna finish leg down my own. See ya. Wait, I thought you was the last one. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do some calves and shit. I'm still doing my calves on or off camera. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just do it for the camera. I still have calves to do. I'm gonna do some glutes. But always remember, there's two types of people that live on this fucking earth. Hammers and nails. Now you decide which one you are. Are you gonna be the hammer or are you gonna be the nail? I've always said it, okay? You either get nailed or you do the hammering. You either fuck or you get fucked. So you pick, bro. And you know what? If you ever suspect someone's trying to fuck you, you turn around and fucking, you start fucking them harder. That's what ends up happening, okay? You know, unless you like getting fucked. Would you unless fuck you a like, guy to not you, be a nail, Devin? I, I rather, I rather fuck a guy than a guy fuck me. Yeah. All right. Now, there's other people out there. They, they like it another way. They prefer to get fucked, you know, and those would be called bitches and beta males, okay? For me, if I, if I suspect I, I could potentially, someone's, not even potentially get fucked, but someone's trying to fuck me, you know, I'm gonna call that shit out and I'm gonna let them know. If you try to fuck me, I'll fuck you back way harder, all right? Don't try to screw with me. And that's the lesson that everybody should carry with them. You know, you don't wanna be the punching bag. Is there more hammers or nails in this world? A lot more, a lot more nails in this world. And there's a few hammers that just hammer every fucking nail. Boom, 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 boom. Now, the first step of not being a nail is acknowledging that there are two types of people, hammers and nails. Now, the second step is deciding which one you want to be. If you're a nail that got nailed, how do you come back from being nailed? You have to accept, I just got fucking nailed. Look yourself in the mirror and just admit, I got fucking nailed. I'm never going to get nailed again. I, I promise to God, if I ever suspect I could possibly get nailed again, I'm gonna I'm I'm turn that shit around and nail them back. I'm gonna be the hammer. You know, and a lot of people, a lot of, a lot of hammers in this world, they start off as nails. You know, you get that kid in high school, he gets bullied, he's fat, you know, he's a little dork nerd. He just gets nailed his whole life, and you know what? Some, he, gets, he gets into university, he's 21 years old, hits the gym, and he goes, fuck this shit, I'm not gonna be a nail anymore, I'm gonna be a hammer. He starts hammering all the pussy now. Now this guy's being a hammer, hammering all the pussy, all the beta males around him, don't stand a chance. Everyone else around him is a nail, right? So, take it for what you want. At some point, every man's gotta make the decision. Which one are you gonna be, right? Which one are you, Brandon? An anabolic hammer. An anabolic hammer, we're a fucking jackhammer. Remember, we jack off, we don't jerk off.